In the 3D Viewer, you can now model your renders in the Glasshouse Rendering Technique. To switch to this technique, open up the sidebar by swiping in from the left-hand side of the screen, or by tapping the circle with the arrow in it in the top left-hand corner. On the View panel, go to the option for Rendering Techniques, and from the list of available rendering techniques, select Glass House. The Glass House rendering technique is unique in that it allows the viewer to see through surfaces by making them transparent. This allows the viewer to see through objects into other rooms, or see where framing or mechanical components will be located behind walls, or see details about an object that may be contained within the object. If I reopen the sidebar and tap the information button at the end of Glass House, there are a few settings that can be adjusted for your Glass House renders. The first is the color of your render. To adjust the color, simply tap the current color and adjust the color sliders to your new desired color. The next setting is Horizon Lines. If you are experiencing performance issues viewing models in the Glass House rendering technique, you may try turning off Horizon Lines to improve the quality of the render. Another 3D viewer setting you may also turn off if you are experiencing performance issues is anti-aliasing. To turn off anti-aliasing, tap on the settings panel in the bottom left hand corner and then tap view and then turn off anti-aliasing. If we go back to the view panel in the bottom left hand corner, the last glass house setting we can adjust is the transparency, which will increase or decrease the amount of transparency that is applied to each surface. And that's going to conclude this video. More information about the 3D Viewer is available through the help documentation and at chiefarchitect.com.